That's right, Brew, it's ultimate Brian Master vibes all over here. And of course, the competition came to a rather explosive finish last night and the final winners were announced. And now I have with me the men who are responsible for choosing these people and uh, this morning with us. And they're also going to show us exactly how it's done, like the masters that they are. And we've got Baptist and uh, Martinez who have uh, once again been uh, chosen in the top 10 restaurants in the Eat Out Awards 2012. Great to have both of you here. Jens, how are you? Very well, very well. Very good, good to see nice you. Nice to you too, but of course, Big Daddy, Justin. Thank you. Wait, what's, are you is, that, just, is that the curtsy? It was almost a curtsy and then I realised you're the wrong gender. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, all right, all right. But you guys are about to show us how it's done, For like sure. the masters. What, what are we making? You know, like you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a recipe out of the book, actually, today. A recipe out and of the book? And it's the recipe I submitted after I had a bar with Martinez and he showed me, well, showed me, but he did this little salt and sugar spice rub on beef. Yeah, and it made sugar. sense, man, completely. So I took it. I stole it. That's what chefs do. We still think yeah. to be so, so, so what we've done is <laughs> with your eyes. We just mix a little bit of time. Just mix it up. And it's just a mixture of salt and sugar and spices. Okay. So it together. Okay, so it's just a nice little, little salt rub. Alrighty. And obviously choose your meat well. So we prefer really good quality free range beef. You can find it. Mm -hmm. Sirloin is my favorite steak. All right. And we mature it well. So this has been about 28 days maturing, which, we, which we're quite happy about. Mm -hmm. And we just whack on this, this beautiful, we call it a cure. It's quite a, what, quite a yeah, handful of eh? it. It's, it's half salt off sugar you won't you know it doesn't become a salty the best thing is leave it for a couple of hours outside room temperature so it just sort of soaks up that, that yumminess but yeah. because we're on television today we're going to speed up the process okay all, all right, right. So, so you can watch, take your watch. time we've got some time yeah. for this one we've got some time this for this one. so, so onto onto high flame and justin's going to tell you about why flames are important yeah because he always gets on about it. i mean so this just, is brying after this is justin all. yeah it's about sealing the meat and you know there's something <laughs> about a fire as well listen you can do it on gas but it's not my favorite but when you seal it on the fire you get that umami taste onto it and it seals the meat entirely and keeps all the moisture inside so that it's juicy and tender. As you can hear, words happy like with umami my flying around. Is, it, is yeah. that satisfactory? No, it's, it's amazing. But do, you, do you feel like it? You know what? You know, he, he, he's, a, he's a seasoned uh, briar, old Justin. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you've got to remember that you know, you've got to leave it to professionals as well. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It's the most amazing thing happened in the series. My hope was always that Martinez and Battis would be inspired yeah. about the fire and the brine. Yeah. And when we were sitting down having the post-mortem, we discussed this at depth. We were talking about when we send South Africans to the Culinary Olympics, we'll yeah. take springbok, we'll take ostrich, we'll celebrate local ingredients, yes. but not local methodologies. And the brine is a local methodology in many respects, and it adds a flavor that you can't get in any other manner. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day, Battis put a brine to his restaurant. Uh, Come on! Know, there we go. Yeah. Proudly we'll, South African like that. We call it the big smoke. The big it's, smoke it's in like the restaurant. A, like American, not, you know, it's, this our side, a little American style barbecue. Yeah. And it's been amazing. The flavor we've been able to achieve is just rocked our worlds completely. That is That's insane, cool. dude. But, well, but while, we, while we're here, but yeah. in case, when we were on the, on the show, we went to the Orange River. We, we gave them a challenge to make potato salad. And we yeah. gave the guys all these ingredients, sort of olives and anchovies and things, yeah? And if you do remember, they like, struggled to make mayonnaise and it was a bit rough, yeah? yeah? But they never thought of just doing a little Mediterranean potato salad, which was mm -hmm. our intention was like, look, use these ingredients and that's it. So today, that's all we're going to do. So potato salad loves things like, for example, parsley yeah? uh -huh. and capers. The and potato salad loves it, so you're probably going to like yeah, it too. Love so anchovy, for example, it. is amazing. Yeah? Anchovies it's, with potatoes. That saltiness, it's just delicious. Yeah? Okay. Uh, olives, in this, this beautiful South African olives. You grow some great olives in this There's country. There's a whole bias so Yeah, yeah. Lack yeah. of bias. It's so. awesome. And you don't, you don't have to add anything else. We're just doing a little bit of shaved cabbage with it as well. It's a little bit of crunch and, and a little bit of freshness. Red and, red and white cabbage. And yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Uh, Martinez, would you wear a bit of olive oil in there, bud? There you go. Well, well Martinez is doing quite a bit of olive oil. We're going to do a bit of sliced onion. Uh huh. Do you guys normally work like this as a team, kind of like tag team? You know, Boom. One of the most amazing things is to watch these two guys in action when they're under pressure. And one of the first things we did when the contestants arrived at the Orange River is Martinez and Bat has cooked for 30 packs for the 30 team, team members. And to see them work is like synchronized poetry. I mean, Aye. the guys just do this dance together. They take no um, BS at the time, but they <laughs> well, work they might together be like going around. <laughs> sure. I mean, listen, if these two guys were in the competition, I think they'd clean up. But I must tell you a terrible little story about when we got together for an indaba, and these guys were putting out fires and having to finish their meals in the oven. Hey, we blame we blame it on Justin's bad wood. Yeah. Yeah. Justin's bad. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, bought, wow. he, bought, wow. he bought the wood. He bought the wood, and it was guys. Let's uh, just give the, the viewers at home uh, a bit of a, a keyword that you would SMS, which is uh, steak to three three seven two eight to get your pick and pay shopping list, uh, so that you can try and make this dry rub beautiful at home with your steak. Now, tell me about. <laughs> This quickly, Martinez. Yes. Did you find yourself learning anything new from the contestants while you were you know what, the, part of the competition? On the strip, I'm, I'm going to say to you straight, most of the time, 
There's a lot of things us chefs don't know, and you're always learning every day. And yeah. I learned some amazing things, you know, with with bacon and, and other ingredients that I've never seen before. Uh -huh. um, great example, Billy did a snook sausage, but using the intestines. I've never seen that before in my oh, entire wow. life. Oh, wow. Okay. using the liver from the snook as well, the which is there are very yeah. few game fish where you can eat the liver. Yeah. And, and snook is one of them. But he cleaned out the intestines and then stuffed it with the snook liver. And I was like, I've been cooking snook my whole life, never seen anything like that. Never even thought about it like that. No. Same thing with the, in, in Durban, we did a burrowos challenge, and Rust and Dust did a banana burrowos roll. Unbelievable. Banana? And, and it works. What? Yeah. Bacon banana and it works. Is that like, like a, a, like a, <laughs> a broeikie with the pisang gebraai in the tomato sausage? Sausage. sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Caramelized banana, crispy bacon. Oh. You know wow. what I'm saying, dude? It's just, it's just epic. <laughs> it, it just was, sounds it was, epic. It was proper. And they won that day for a right reason. It was well, like, it was, well, it, was, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was good. So it's just. Yeah. Well, speaking of epic stuff, we're giving our viewers at home, the smart shoppers at home, the chance to win 1 million smart shopper points. That's the equivalent of 10,000 Rand, right? Yeah. This is ridiculous. So what we're asking you right now is for you to guess how many smart shopper points we have on our card and because you know we shop at, uh, at pick and pay uh, here's the clue that we're giving to you if you have a look at this little bottle over here this is a bottle of one liter extra virgin olive oil which costs 77 rand 99 right now with the amount of smart shopper points that we have on our card we can buy 15 of those bottles. So if you can do the little maths there, work it out, how many Smart Shopper points we have on our not, card. Not, not, not my game, yeah, no, 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 we cook, guys. I'm not a mathematician. Not a mathematician. Uh, so do this up. Tech to help us out. <laughs> and if you can guess that, SMS the keyword SMART, your answer, of course, guessing how many we have on our card, followed by your name and your Smart Shopper card number to 33728. Now, that could get you, dude, one million Smart Shopper points, you could like, we could be boiling by all the dry stuff you need for the Man, I'm just thinking about eating that. That's that all looks that's amazing. going on in my mind. Nice Look at that. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I'm, I'm going to get into that in a bit, but just for our viewers at home, and if you've been buying from the uh, Pick and Pay Bry catalogue, here's an insane opportunity. We, you're going to be entered into a competition to win. Get this. It's called the Renault Colios 2.5 4x4 SUV petrol manual with a 5-year 100km service plan, a 5-year 150,000km warranty plan, and it's up for grabs. This price valued at 340,000 rand. <laughs> And how insane is that? Oh, we, drove, we drove them around the country. You They're drove that? Incredible, man. Yeah. Oh, you didn't drive the one that's here? No, I drove, no, we no, drove no, no. some of them. <laughs> through the uh, snow, uh, through the rain, through the mud, uh, and it worked like a charm. Through the trans car. Like a charm. Oh, okay, well, yeah. I guess people want to actually see what is this car that I'm talking about. Graham is standing right next to it right now. Check it out. Everything's wrapped with goodness and prepared with pride to bring you all our best this Christmas. Pick and pay. Always there for you.